Let's balance this redox reaction here. We have Cr2O7, 2 minus, and C2H5OH. And we're going to balance this in acidic medium. And we use the ion electron method, also called the half reaction method. So the first thing we need to do is write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to do that. From there, we're going to write the half reactions for the species of interest. And the species of interest, these are just the ones that have their oxidation numbers changed. So let's write those half reactions. So we can see chromium, each chromium is plus six, and it changes to plus three here. Since we're reducing this number plus six to plus three, this is the reduction. This is what is being, this is being reduced right here. Then we have our carbon going from minus two to plus four. So these are the half reactions we're going to work with. So now we'll balance these half reactions. First, we do the atoms of interest, the ones that had their oxidation numbers changed. Two chromiums, let's put a coefficient here. Those are balanced. Two carbons, let's put a two here. Next, we need to balance the oxygen atoms on each side by adding H2O, water. Here I have seven oxygen atoms, so I need to add seven water molecules over here. So now I have seven oxygen atoms on both sides. Down here, I have one oxygen atom. Here I have two times two, that's four. So I need to add three water molecules here, so I have four oxygen atoms on both sides. Now I need to balance the hydrogens. And we're going to add H plus ions to do that. Seven times two is 14. So let's add 14 H plus. Hydrogens are balanced here. So we have three times two is six plus five. That's 11 plus one. That's 12. So let's add 12 hydrogen ions here. And now we need to balance the charge. We're going to add electrons to both sides. It's a little challenging up here. 14 plus and two minus. That gives us 12 plus. Over here in the products, we have two times three plus six plus. So if I had six electrons here, six negative charges, that'll give me a six plus on this side, six plus on this side, we're good. Over here, we just need to add 12 electrons. Once we've done this, we can balance the overall equation for the number of electrons for the charge, and then we can simplify the half reactions. Let's do that. So if you think about it right here, these are the reactants, and these over here, they're the products. But we have six electrons in the reactants and 12 in the products, so that's not balanced. What we could do is we could multiply this whole thing up here by two, everything. That would give us 12 electrons here, and we have 12 here. So we'll multiply all of this by two, and then we'll put our reactants down here and our products underneath that. Let's do that. Okay, so right here, these are the reactants. That's this line right here. And these are the products that's down here. Now we can cancel out anything that's the same, like these 12 electrons on both sides. Here, 12 hydrogen ions, and here in 28. So I'll get rid of those, and I'll make this 16. I see that I have three water molecules here and 14. So I'm going to get rid of these, and I'll make this 11. Everything else is unique. So let me clean this up. So this is the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7, 2 minus plus C2H5OH. If you look at the charge, we have 16 plus here and two times two minus. So we have 16 minus four. We have 12 plus on this side, four times three plus, that's 12 plus. So we've balanced the charge. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7, 2 minus plus C2H5OH. Thanks for watching.